You ever just make out with a bear? Honestly. Yogi bear. Dude, yeah, Yogi Bear be like, Yeah. <laughs> hey, boo boo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the Voice Chat Podcast, episode 38. My name is Maz from The Amazing. I'm Laddie. I'm Rod Laddie Vera. I'm Alyssa from Illumation. <laughs> hey, I'm Sultan from Sultan Sketches. <laughs> you did that on purpose. I hate you. I hate Edis. Oh my gosh. I hate you so much. Good. I like that one. That was a good one. Also, I, I just want to note that like I totally forgot the number of the ep- episode podcast and I stalled for the long... I was like, uh, uh, it's episode 38 and I, I, I nailed it. it. I was episode like, oh, 42 mod. Episode How dare you? Yes. Yeah, that's that's me faking confidence and and internally panicking inside. <laughs> you did Speaking great. of uh, confidence, can I redo my intro? That was so weak. I I wasn't feeling it. I want to do it again. I'm, nope. Hey guys, nope. it's Sultan nope. from nope. Sultan Sketches. <laughs> All right, good, awesome. Sorry, <laughs> he did it. Good job. <laughs> cut that one out, Nunu. All good. Um, <laughs> yeah, Nunu, cut that out. Before we begin, I just want to thank our patrons, especially wanted to thank Deke, Storyteller25, Andrew Ong, Gabriel, and Iron Bat. Y'all are fantastic. Thank you so much for supporting us. Just want to let you guys know that you can listen to every episode a week early before it comes out in public. If you become a patron or channel member, you get access to all our episodes and bonus episodes and live streams. uh, The post live stream, live stream, and all that. All you need to do is become a patron channel member to access all of it. And also want to give a shout out to the fan art of this episode. Ooh, Y'all be hella it, lit. It's hella beautiful. cool. Wow. So many. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> you beautiful. You beautiful. <laughs> but I also wanted to ask all the viewers and listeners, if y'all could go, and this is going to be like simping. I'm simping the viewers right now. If y'all could go to iTunes and leave us like a five-star <laughs> review. That would be so, so sexy. Really and cool. if you... Why? why yeah. Wow. Yeah. If you don't... If you don't, Laddie and Rush will both come and beat you up. Not coming to your birthday party, that's for sure. (laughs) Party got people. (laughs) Who would invite you to the birthday party, Rush? Get the hell out of here. He'll uninvite you to my birthday party. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. What's up, guys? How's it going? How's how's, how's life treating you? Well, yeah. So now that we've done, get that out of the way, Alyssa Selson, thank you so much for coming on to the podcast. Thank you for waking me up earlier so I would... Be on the podcast. <laughs> Mid yawn. <laughs> Were you sleeping during the intro? Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. She, I'm she gone. Slept. <laughs> no, no. I'm here. She's I'm here. still she asleep. Slept, bro. <laughs> Talking in my sleep. Yeah. The entire the entire podcast is just like it's just Luigi and Judy <laughs> on the mic. They're just mouse moving her around. Like yeah, meow, 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 meow. meow. <laughs> Listen, you want five stars on iTunes? Podcast. Get <laughs> Luigi and <laughs> Junior just purring in the mic for an hour and you'll get five <gasps> stars, please. Trust there me. There you go. Honestly, that would be so funny. That would be Judy really, really funny. Is like, I, I think me. Like, she's like, I know you're talking about me. She's just staring at me from across the room. <laughs> oh, baby. You know how people are like cat women? I think Alyssa might be be two cats just in a trench coat. Like a literal I mean, cat like... woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> two She's just two cats. Junie <laughs> and Luigi. Wait, are you actually, like, I know Junie is like a new quote-unquote addition oh, to yeah. the family. Um, I Are you thinking about getting number three? Yeah, three but the, the, the only thing that's like holding me back is that I live in an apartment, and so... There's like a limit mm-hmm. on how many animals you can have, but Aww. I have been daydreaming about moving to Washington. Ooh. So Ooh, one what? day, yeah, because it turns out, um, literally anywhere but California is pretty affordable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Rush yeah. knows. Tax. I was looking at so many houses at Texas, bro. They're so cheap, and the taxes are like, whoa. I know, and I, I found out <laughs> Washington doesn't have. Uh, Income tax. All right. If if, if I I was sleep earlier, that this will put people to sleep. So <laughs> they don't have s- state income tax, and oh. let me tell you, that will save me thousands of dollars. Yeah. Yep. And it, it's just like because and then because California has the highest state income taxes. Also, I forgot to pay my state income yeah. taxes last year, and they were like knock knock. <gasps> you owe us money and i was like for what <laughs> for living 
Uh, as okay, one last one last taxes related complaint. As a YouTuber, we uh-huh. are technically freelancers, which means we have to put aside thirty percent of our income yep. to pay mm. in taxes. And if you're like a Team Ten uh, mother effer, okay, yeah, you pay your freaking taxes. But I was like. I'm an animator. I don't do anything wrong. Why do I have to pay so much money? I don't. Uh. <laughs> it was it was bad. It was my first time doing taxes, and like <sighs> I didn't make much, but I still had to pay like three hundred yeah. plus dollars. And I yeah, was like, that hurts. It's <laughs> a third of your income. It's insane. It's mm-hmm. um. But then if yeah. you make enough, you get to graduate into the people who don't pay as many taxes. Apparently, yeah, rich people. <laughs> yeah, United Ooh. States. And that's my thing about taxes. The end. <laughs> what the taxes heck? are crazy. But the thing is, would you say that the reason that you had to pay so much for LA um, is because of, like, A, the opportunities, and B, just the amount of YouTube slash Hollywood opportunities there? Are? Like, you're paying for the opportunities and friends? No. Isn't it not worth no, it? No, I, I mean, like, I don't want anyone to think that if they come out to California that, like, I'll be their best friend or... That other people mm-hmm. are just gonna be their best. Junie has her tail like on the mic, and I'm really sorry if it's making noises. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I don't like because I think that's what people assume with like opportunities. It's like if if people aren't, I don't know, if nothing's happening in your email inbox, moving to California isn't gonna change that. You're just gonna the only emails you're gonna mm-hmm. get is like, hey, your rent is late, bitch, <laughs> pay <Whoa>. up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, and I was I was I came here for school. But, like, now that I'm done with school, I'm like, man, I miss having four seasons and not paying so much in taxes <laughs> and everything. And it's so expensive. Uh, it, I guess it's so weird because it feels like a grass is greener on the other side kind of scenario. Because I have been actually lamenting the fact that I'm not oh. with you guys in L.A. and stuff. Like, I, I've been wishing you that I was move there here? for a long time. Oh, good. No, no, no. I, I'm not going to move there. I'm That's thinking not of moving happen, to Canada, but honestly. But I, I do... I'm sick of it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I, I have been wishing to go there simply because of just... Uh, for me, uh, being, like, a very kind of extroverted social person, <laughs> I just want the kind of it, friends, like, physical yeah. YouTube friends, you know? Like, all of y'all are in L.A. And all the weird network opportunities, like, the weirdest moments. So, this is what I was wa- wanted to talk cool. to you about, Alyssa, but... Um, I w- I'm going to make a video on my commentary channel talking about my, you know, you guys know my story animated. Yeah. Oh, like, oh yeah. The, 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 the 16 and time. still drinking breast milk channel. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh. that kind of channel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I want to make a video on that. And the title is going to be like story time animator talks about my yeah. story animated, right? Like Ooh. something like that. And it's I, and time. I dissect why they, that, why we work and why they don't work and why what like why there's like a huge negative connotation to their stuff right and i was i was gonna have a bit i was like oh man should i how should i credit jarvis because you know jarvis has made like 12 videos about it right jarvis johnson and i was like i want to credit him i don't know but then I i remembered he like follows me on my account so i was like oh i guess i could just dm him like hey you want to be in my video for like, like a real small cameo and your line's gonna be like yeah, <laughs> shit. you know what i mean like real quick um but then i i dm'd him like with an entire thing like hey i love your stuff i had this really impulsive idea do you want to be a part of it and his two his literally his replies were oh yeah um thanks for thanks for the nice words Alyssa says great things about you yeah i'd be yeah. keen let me know what you want I'm like, dang, Alyssa really hooking me up with the connection, even when I don't even know oh, yeah, it, you know it was, what I mean? It like, was really sweet. He uh, DM'd me and said, like, oh, hey, do you know the Amazing? He reached out to me for stuff. And I was like, I was like, yes. And I, um, I, I, I didn't know what to, like, because I don't want to be like, oh, my God, yeah, he's my BFF. Like, you should totally work with him. Like, I, <laughs> like, I wanted to be genuine and be like, no, seriously. Like, because uh, I feel like you and Jarvis would get along so well because you both have that super, like, analytical mind. But I wasn't mm-hmm. about to be like, you should be best friends and, like, <laughs> holding my two, like, Barbie dolls and being like, now kiss. You know, I didn't want to force anything. So I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, yeah. Sultan's yeah. like, uh, excuse Here, me, wait, best me... friend. Who's uh, who's this guy? Nah, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm still cut that you want to move to America. Like, <laughs> I'm not good enough. I don't. It's, it's all right. It's, it's all right. Whatever. I don't. I don't. I, I, I heard what you. It's in. Man, you know that the proof is in the the thing. Yeah. Okay, everyone heard it two minutes ago. You were just I saying you wanted to move. 
True. And dang, all right, yes. I need counseling. That's it. I, I just didn't want. I don't know. I just am like, okay, like I, I would hate to give off like a bad impression when I'm trying to make a good impression. I think that's like mm-hmm. the worst fate. But I yeah. said, mm-hmm. OMG, yes, Moz is the chillest dude. He was the first one to welcome me into the YouTube community. A true friend of like two years. Oh. And that's Aww. what I say about you. I say like, I was like, if you go to my first video, he was like the first person in the animation community to like to just be so publicly and like welcoming and stuff and i was like you don't see that you don't see that on youtube first of all and for the animation community it's pretty big so it's like but Moz is always on the hunt for stuff. I just, oh, now I'm just talking about Moz. But like, <laughs> Moz I'm like is tearing up. Y'all, you're all gassing me up, man. Yeah, like <laughs> I, just, I just say to people, like, if you go to my first video, you'll find a, a, this comment that age it ages like fine fucking wine. I'm sorry, I said a bad word. <laughs> card. It ages like wine because it says like you're gonna be big someday, and I'm like, what the? Huh? Yeah. Like, I was like, how did he know? Like, <laughs> uh, from Moz. Yeah, yeah, it's it's all my first video. He's like he's like I just found this channel. It's gonna be yeah. great, and it's like the cutest. It's the yeah, cutest comment I, I, I found with. the comment. Yeah, I remember yeah. typing this because I remember being so impressed. I was like, because your style back then was leagues ahead of so many people. So I wrote this. There it is. Uh, dang, I wrote. Yeah. Uh, I have no doubt in my mind. You're absolutely going places. Love your style. Keep at it. You know. Isn't that and, adorable? Because at first oh. you're like, oh, of course he says that, but then you see two years ago and you're like, wait a minute. No. You just see like history just frozen. It's it's it's. I don't know. I just yeah. Uh, Maz, you're a good person. Is what I'm getting at. So oh. no, <laughs> it's, yeah. I appreciate it because I I suspected that he w- went through like a proof checking <laughs> sesh because yeah. because there was a delayed up in a, in the reply. I was like, wait a minute, and he was just yeah. tweeting normally. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. But like, but how do you fair. know Jarvis? How do you know him? Um, friend of a friend of a friend kind of thing. Oh, um, I also okay. like, I put a lot of effort into like making friends with people who are in other uh, like non-animation spheres because it's yeah. just refreshing mm-hmm. to talk to just other people. Not that, not that we're stale or anything, but it's fun. Um, but like, yeah. it's like, it's like how the hell do you do that? Isn't that the benefit then of like LA? Like having well, the opportunity to go outside the circle of animation? I mean, I, I guess so. I guess because I haven't lived anywhere else. The thing is like we're in the same um, management network. And so that's how I physically met him. And Wait, I, he's in, under Ian Doki? Yeah, we're all under concurrent, and so oh. we'll have, like, yeah, there's, like, a lot of us under concurrent that, like, uh, I don't want to just, like, throw out names and name drop as if I'm friends with them, because that's not how mm-hmm. it works, but it's, like, Ian will, well, before the pandemic, we, he would have concurrent parties, and just all the concurrent folks would come over, and then sometimes it's, like, the friends that we've made along the way, and so, like, people at Real Good Touring, like, Stella, um, gosh, who else came? Um, anyway but like they'll come like from real good touring and then sometimes they'll bring someone that we're like oh they're not in concurrence but I've we're mutuals on twitter kind of thing and Mm -hmm. before you know it I'm doing their tarot cards and I'm like oh wow (laughs) 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 yeah they know who they are I don't need to name drop but but, yeah the thing is that like leads on to what Saul was saying like when you move on to Washington what's gonna happen bro I guess. I don't know. I just, man, I, 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 the pandemic has, I don't know about you guys, but the pandemic has been wonderful for my mental health and that is not sarcastic. Like I've just realized like a lot of things about YouTube and about myself and about how, I don't know, you just, you don't need to do the things that people think you need to do to be happy. Sorry, Mm -hmm. bars. (laughs) Um, But like, (laughs) 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 but yeah, I'm like, I can like, I want to move to Washington and I want to live near Seattle. Everybody in Seattle's like, yo, Um, (laughs) because I want to be near an airport and a flight from Seattle down. Like, oh, my God, like there are people who are in the concurrent network, like Bobby Duke, Bobby Duke Arts. He does like really cool, like woodworking stuff. And he's a dad and he's really sweet. And he lives in Texas. Rush. You can go live with Bobby Duke. I'm going to live with him. Me and him, we're going to hang out. We're going to create some wood. (laughs) Yeah. And, like, whenever there's a concurrent party, he's like, sure, I'll fly out for the weekend. Like, it's as easy as that. So, like, I mean, I don't know what's in the future, because, like, nobody knows anything. The 
there was a really big house that was like it would have been the hype house if people lived there but people didn't really live there it was just this big empty house that they I, rented I firmly believe a YouTuber house will always result in chaos like don't do it oh, don't. never never yeah. but that's the thing anyway I I just miss having four seasons and I can fly into California for a weekend it's so much cheaper than living here <laughs> <laughs> oh wow that's actually insane you could yeah 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 like it's <laughs> cheap it's... cheap so all i'm saying uh, is uh washington should be the new california join me yeah. is it or, georgia become or... the new california georgia listen yeah a lot of like hollywood and like, everything being filmed like the like avengers walking dead and everything that's being filmed in georgia and a lot of like businesses yeah. are popping up because hollywood moved to georgia for oh filming my right god yeah there Are you, you go but there's crocodiles uh, I was gonna, to watch out. Listen, Rush and the Rush, you'd be talking about Texas, and I think that would be fine. But have you thought about Melbourne in Australia? But now. that's like on fire. No. Fire. <laughs> Sultan, is it on fire right now? Sultan. Melbourne, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not, not literal fire, but uh, yeah, Melbourne is not doing so well. Oh, yeah, the, the virus. She's, oof, oof. Yeah, she's, 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 uh, She's surviving, but in that case, then all America's on fire. Is Australia safe for the LGBTs? Oh yeah, like, oh, okay. Depends, I'll consider it then. <laughs> depends upon where you go, but honestly, if you're in Melbourne, Sydney, like the two most livable places, absolutely, yeah. Super. Is, isn't open taxes like forty percent? What do you mean? For Australian, for taxes, isn't it like forty percent? Uh, so that's the thing, Alyssa. So, but the thing is, okay, what? yes, the tax is when you, Alyssa was saying 30% tax. I was like, aha, ha, that's the lowest <laughs> tax that we have. Um, the oh highest branch, uh, that if like my mom and dad, they're high end, very professional doctors and they make oh, like yeah. a lot of money and they have to pay 45% on tax. But oh. the reason that's how it should be. The, Right? No, no. The reason is though, you also have free healthcare. You have yeah. unlimited benefits. Mm. Of, if you want to go dental, if you want to do surgery, you can do it without paying anything. You can <sighs> uh, nice. if you if you want to go to uni. My entire medical school to become an actual medical doctor cost me fifty grand. That's it. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Whoa. It cost me a hundred k to get a freaking animation degree. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And and <laughs> Australia has a system called uh, Hex, which Basically, during the university, you pay nothing. And <sighs> when you start work over a certain threshold, like 70 grand per year, then you pay back bit by bit. And they don't even charge tax, like uh, interest or anything. You pay exactly the amount you took at what you were going, minus and plus minus inflation. You know, that's it. So, okay, one, yeah. one, it's like a wet question check. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> a rain check. One question. Um, do Wait, you get Sultan, what's snow? up? Rain check? What do you mean? Why? I f no, I forgot what the word was. Uh, you, you know when you go to the shop and you're like, I want to buy this, but I'll pay later. This is oh. a word for it. IOU? Something check. Oh, no. The, no, pay as you go no, 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 after pay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. No, 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 not after pay. It's something check. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But now it's a tab? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's like It's, it's something that's new in Australia. It's a new thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What, what about oh. it? No, I was just trying to think of the word. That's the but, whole thing. But, what's wrong with that? No, that's it. That's oh, why I said what that word, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to remember the word and give me. You're trying to sell us on Australia. Trying to sell. Yeah, so, so, I'm like, I'm, I'm like pitching Australia, and Sultan's like, ah, what's the word? <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> it's like, it's like take a rain check, but it's for payment. There's a word for it. I know, I'm not. I know there's a word for it. Is it called pain range? No, that's not it. Sorry, go on. Don't mind me. I'm just <laughs> <Pain check. laughs> I have a question about Australia. What's Do you up? guys have all four seasons, or is it like California light? Um, it depends on where you go. So a place like where uh, where I grew up in Queensland, it's basically hot and cold. That's the two seasons. Oh. Uh, hot, cold, and flooding. So that's the three seasons oh. that you'll get in Australia. But in Melbourne, the, it does vary quite a lot. But I think Melbourne, which is the place I would recommend you go to, probably varies a bit too much in the fact that you end up having like four seasons in one day. In one day, <laughs> <There was Yeah. laughs> There was a moment I was walk I was walking for like a presentation exam, a medical exam in which I kind of talked to eight doctors in different rooms about various medical conditions. And on my walk there, I it's like a ten minute walk from my house to the uni. On my walk, it was really sunny. I was dressed fine. 
halfway in the walk, it started raining and it was gloomy. I was like, what the f-? And I, I started running into, you know, so I didn't get wet before the presentation. And then a minute before I reached there, it started getting windy. It was windy, oh. like left and right, like hair oh. everywhere. And I walk in, I do the presentation, I walk out, it's sunny again. I'm like, what? okay. And then before I got home, it's windy again. I'm like, I hate this. I hate everything about this. This is the worst. Well, thing. I mean, it keeps us on our toes, you know. It's, it makes life a little bit more interesting. How boring would it be if weather was just the same the whole day? This is so boring. Wait, yeah. shut up. We have a plan to go to the beach or something, bro. What are you on about? Yeah. You go to the beach, but it's a risk. It's like well, you're gonna, a, well, it's like, like, we're going to swim or ice skate. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, That's so like so when it's summer, it'll <laughs> sometimes it'll be really really hot and no wind, and then all of a yeah. sudden you're you're being attacked by like a sandstorm. At oh the my gosh! It's, it's a fun time. No, 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 no. Yeah. So the <laughs> no, I, weather I feel is you though. The spontaneity is fun. Yeah, it's it fun. is. It is fun uh, because there was there was a moment in which the day before it was like a hundred and ten degree Fahrenheit or forty degrees Celsius, salt and oh. but super hot. And we and the next day we're like, okay, let's go get ice cream. And the next day, it's just, like, it's not cold. It's not, like, uh, the sun was hiding because behind the clouds and was just chill the entire time. And I was like, well, we can't go get ice cream here, you know? But it's, like, I don't know. It's fun. The spontaneity does add a bit of fun to it. I like it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so that's my pitch to come to Australia. Thanks, guys. Uh, please, <laughs> please Thanks for coming come over. to my TED Talk. <laughs> my I've always talk. wanted to visit. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think New Zealand and Australia are some of the best places to visit for, like, full stop. It's just so much fun. Wait, does it's New Zealand get snow? This is stuff yes. I can Google. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. okay. You, I'll think about New snow? Zealand. No, I, I uh, love snow. I miss, I miss autumn and I miss snow. And so I'm trying oh, to think dude, somewhere that has those. I hate snow. H. Melbourne and the like the Victor- Victoria the state it has it has the best like skiing snowboarding experience you'll ever what? get it's so good <laughs> I've never dude, seen snow in my entire dude, life dude, I said Victoria go to Gippsland and you'll find the best experience ever. oh that's I've... like 10 hours away nah shut not <laughs> even dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like two sorry I lied <laughs> ten? absolute liar I used to live there and he's like oh, 10 more hours shut the hell up bro this, yeah, okay like this guy hour drive is a long drive Sultan's like really gonna make fun hour. of distances and he lives on the most outskirt region of Melbourne you can like literally that's on the periphery that's not true that is <laughs> not true and you know it I lived I live in, in Clayton, suburbs. which is like all, kind of in the suburbs and to get to Sultan's house it took 40 minutes I was like I what what the heck what is this you're so far well, if you think about it, it took 40 minutes to get to your house, so, like, Aww. you know. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> got him. Exactly. Got, got you. Wait, See, you Mars, know. Mars he's left, left Mars speechless. Damn, Phoenix right there. No, 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 no. Dang. All the music plays in. Objection. Come on. Objection. Actually, your house is 45 minutes away. Dang, all right, you're right. <laughs> Take me to jail. Not guilty. Take me to jail. <laughs> guilty. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so funny. But, yeah, I think, <laughs> honestly, um, you guys, I, I wasn't actually being serious about you guys moving to Australia, obviously. But um, it is, okay. like, if you guys have the opportunity to come down for a bit, whether it be oh, for VidCon Australia <laughs> or something, you should absolutely come down. Yeah, I'll come down I, for a joke. I, I want to, you know what, I've been thinking about it, and, like, I want to do more uh life outside of youtube this could yeah. be a good segue but like i just want to visit for the hell of visiting i don't want to be yeah. like oh it's vidcon i guess i'll swing by like yeah. <laughs> i want to be a, i want to like do things for me not for youtube you know i guess a hundred percent that's like super super legit like I, feel that. I i the only reason i say that is because that's when all of us combine into one city you know so it's just yeah, that's, probably the best easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, Alex is in Brisbane, and, you know, Sultan's not in that state. So, everyone's yeah. just separate. At least I just love how away. you guys pronounce things over there. Melbourne. <laughs> Brisbane. Brisbane. Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, James tried to tweet about that, where it's like, Melbourne. I'm like, yeah, what, what about Kansas and our Kansas, huh? What's happening there? Ah. And, uh, <laughs> America explain. America America. <laughs> confusion. <laughs> I have confusion. But like, is that why you're? Is that why you're like lurking nowadays? Like <coughs> trying not to associate with animation a little bit, or yeah, what's happening? Because like, well, I definitely. Well, it started because like, like I burnt myself out, and I didn't know why I was so burnt out because it wasn't the work I was doing. I just didn't realize that like socially, I'd burned myself out because like, oh man, I had this realization that 
since I started YouTube, like, I have been having to enter social situations as Illimation. I no longer <laughs> can enter a circle and say, hi, I'm Alyssa, and they're like, not like anyone in the world, but you know, like, if I jump into a Discord server that I'm like, oh, this will be fun. It's like Illimation has entered the chat, and they're like, is this really you? Or people just send me you know, friend requests, or I get, like, people DMing me, which is, like, you know, cool if you want, like, a fan. If you're just a fan, you're just saying hi, but it just gets tiring after a while because I can't even be myself. And then there are times where, like, I'll, you know, say something, and it's just like, OMG, it's Illy Machin. Like, I don't even get a response. And I can't even have a conversation. And yeah. I never thought I'd, like, and I, I just kind of ignored it for a while and was like oh it's just one or two people but then like it's at any server i go into it's just bound to happen and like there have been times i have to like show my like driver's license to prove who i am who i am and i'm like i don't feel comfortable sending people pictures of my driver's license oh yeah no and yeah you know it's just uh, it's like i understand why they have to do that but i also just like uh, so my remedy for this situation has been making alt accounts I am everywhere, and <laughs> nobody knows. Nowhere. <laughs> I'm that's pretty yeah. Cool. I'm everywhere and I'm nowhere, and it's really fun. And um, yeah, I think everybody I like should that. do it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll oh, take it. just go online and like reverse catfish. It's incredible. <laughs> Oh, absolutely not. What if people are talking shit about me? I'll just start crying. <laughs> <laughs> I would start crying, too. What, I what do you guys think of Souls and Sketches? No, I, I hate like, that guy. Souls like, oh, yeah, I think he's really attractive and super kind. <laughs> it's really and great. cool. <laughs> then you get I would just start crying. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if it's no, the other uh, way? We like, should have seen I- it coming. Yeah, what if it's like other way? I I start lurking and they're like, yeah. What do you think about Sultan schedule? I'm like, oh, piece of piece of shit. I hate him. <laughs> I just like go in on him. <laughs> you, you're lurking against him. Like you both are both. Yeah, I'm like hating you're on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like we make it specifically against the way people are like. Oh, I hate Rush, bro. Oh my gosh. If, if I hear about Speed Racer one more time, <laughs> bro, the greatest anime movie of all time. <laughs> Oh my god! Do you actually like it? Is that dude? Like, uh, I actually love it. I I actually love it. Even CG is okay. Here, no, no, no. Here, do you bro. do you like it as a meme or do you like it as an actual anime movie? An actual anime movie. Oh, what the heck! All right. Yeah, so there's that, like, there's actually flashbacks way? and stuff like when there's like the character in ma- monologue and exactly there's like good. It's like the whole world is built around racing and like the whole world, yeah. the whole everything around the world race evolved and it's like politics and stuff like the villain's really cool and like how he explains things and they're like the cuts the cinematography beautiful there's the person that made the matrix like the cinemato- shot the matrix and stuff. wait the, the wachowski brothers yeah what like the transitions are good there's john goodman and some good actors and like there's well, some cheesy insane. lines i didn't i didn't know that it was the wachowskis what yeah the but heck? the fucking the bridal where his name is fuck bridal he's like stupid child boy wait, I, don't great. spoil it what do you mean don't do that yeah, well, there's a character named Spider. Whoever the Peter. heck, don't, sw- don't say stuff about the movie. He randomly starts talking about st- stuff about the movie. No, yeah, wait, I just said I, I hate the character. I want to watch it. I'm going to watch it. It randomly will... spoils the movie for well, well, everyone. I just, I just want you to know I hate Spridal. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Like, speaking... Sorry, you just got me on a like, mind tangent here. I watched Hamilton two days ago. Yeah. The, like, in person or the, just the movie? No, the, the, the movie. Play. I wish it was person. Oh, yeah. I spent money to go on person, but I vomited <laughs> my heart out, so whatever. How was the play uh, uh, Dude, movie? I cried, like, four times watching dude. the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shut shut, shut, shut <laughs> the hell up. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Since you're a Australian person learning mm-hmm. about, like, like a, a musical about U.S. history, like, what's that yeah. like? Because so I feel I, like the other I, way around, I'd be like... Oh yeah, no. Whoa. <laughs> uh, the thing is, what was that? What was that? <laughs> She's really good. Damn. damn. Thanks. You're, She's you're, really good. I was like, damn, Pauline, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah. So uh, the thing is, I have listened to Hamilton for years now, right? So it's it's not like I'm unaccustomed to it, yeah. and American history surprisingly or not um has been embedded in so many movies already in one form or another that i knew 
most of the characters already. I knew about Thomas Jefferson and Alex, uh, Washington. I knew uh, that Aaron Burr went kind of crazy at the end there. You know, I knew mm-hmm. about that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a surprise to me about what happened. But also, I was watching with a friend, and they also burst into tears like four times. <laughs> mm. So it's it, it's not just an American history based thing. It's such a well told story, well structured movie with great music that it will elicit an emotional response from you, even if you don't know Jack. You know, that's mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great, great. Stuff. The spinny thing with the shot. They had some good shots yep. in Bob too. Oh, did you, yeah. Did you, did you Watching know that some it shots hit so different? I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh yeah, I know everything that's gonna happen. I won't cry." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, that uh, scene when it's like it's quiet uptown and it says forgiveness and Hamilton's oh just crying as Eliza's stone face. I'm like, "Oh, yes, me, my heart." If he and had like, more time, are, like, oh. crying and like yeah. actually crying, I'm like, oh, oh my yeah. god. I would All cry. the emotions. Rush, did you cry? A hundred percent, hundred percent. Was that? Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> At you did? the end, yeah, of course. I like. I, I heard like everyone beforehand. was crying. Yeah. We yeah. watched it with like maybe five people. I think everyone had to like either they like, went completely silent or like had to <laughs> mute because they were crying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went literally silent. I was like, <laughs> not, not gonna lie. The next day, I listened to the soundtrack. And I started crying, listening to the song while drawing. I'm like, God damn it! If we only it's had so... time, and if we have enough. I like sorry. Uh, so good. Okay, just trying sorry. to be remembered is just like a very impactful thing. I would uh, yeah. relate to. It's like I want to be remembered. Yeah. yeah. Like the the just the desire to build a legacy, and it sucks that like people like Hamilton. Um, what I don't I don't know about you guys. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this guy. I know Rush, you are, but it reminded me a lot of this guy named Monty Um, right? Oh. Monty Um. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he's the. Guy. Ruby, the Ruby, Ruby yeah, guy. laddie. With the, I just remember his fancy he, um signature. DDR. <laughs> yeah. All oh, that was yeah. the birds. Yeah, the birds. Yeah, so his signature is great, but like he's uh, the creator of Ruby and lead animator for Red vs. Blue and Dead Fantasy and a lot of amazingly uh, choreographed fight. Uh, oh, Sultan, yeah. you know of him? Yeah, I love Dead Fantasy. That was my shit growing up. Damn, yeah. dude. Yeah, same. And there Monty. was this really old one. I forget what it was called. I think it was called Draw With Me or something. Yeah. Like, I still remember, like, I used to watch his videos when I was, like, just getting into art. So, like, whenever I hear the word, it, like, it, just a wave of nostalgia hits me. But what are you, what, are, you're making a reference to Hamilton Monty. with this? Where, where yeah, is this because, going? Because um, Monty was someone who was similar to Hamilton. Monty did things in the most efficient way possible to save even seconds of his life <laughs> he would go up to a microphone and instead of putting a minute which requires microwave. you to press microwave sorry uh which requires you to put one zero zero or six zero he would do 55 seconds because it required less movement of his fingers and then you know to <laughs> activate like he would do oh, stuff like that on a king shit dude that he would do that on a daily basis to save as much time to do as much work as he could on his project Oh, and goals. similar to Hamilton, when he was like 20, like in his 20s, he had an allergic reaction and died to his allergic oh. reaction. Yeah. And yeah, in Red uh, Rooster Teeth, it was one of the biggest tragedies of Rooster Teeth. And what uh, single handedly probably caused the decline of Ruby is the fact that the lead creator, the guy who in charge, died from his allergies. And so it's so bizarre that the people who are obsessed with saving as much time as possible in trying to use as much of their time in the most meaningful way always pass so early that you know sucks. and it, mm. it it it's like ah, yeah it sucks it sucks didn't mean to yeah. did, sorry i didn't mean to make this go down a dark <laughs> sad way <laughs> no <laughs> i had to ask because i know nothing about hamilton honestly i like i literally know nothing about it Ooh. yeah the thing is i know you would like it sultan like you would oh probably I just, yeah yeah I, I you'd don't know cry i haven't gotten amongst it well, I haven't gotten to a lot of things, so <laughs> that's probably why. I guess. Yeah, the extent of uh, my knowledge of Hamilton is just Emily's video. Like, the burn animatic. That's, like, yeah. the only thing I know about it. Damn. All right, you're, you're all right. We get there. Um, I I definitely recommend it, though. It's good stuff. I uh, I think PJ told me to watch Six, which is, like, a, like a big uh, badass musical about the people who got killed by Henry VIII or something like that. So, yeah, wicked yeah, wives, yeah, the wicked, the wives, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, the Wicked One. I know. I've just been recently watching a lot of movies and TVs again uh, because I have time to do so. Um, mm. Because that's what I love to do before I start animating, right? Uh, I yeah. I watched Dore Hodoro, which is an anime. I watched. Mm-hmm. Um, I've started watching God of High School, <laughs> which people have been talking about. And that, that's supposed to be really good. Uh, it, it's good. I wouldn't say it's great. <laughs> um, and like I I started a few episodes of BNA, which I know, laddie, you don't mm-hmm. like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You oh, and Emily, you and Emily hate what? that show. I didn't know. You guys Emily don't like it. it? <laughs> I don't, Wait, Sultan, you like it? Well, I love it, but I was not sober when I watched it, so that might have like, <laughs> influenced how much I liked it. But like, like Rush, I really liked it. Oh, <laughs> if you, if you know, I haven't like, watched it really yet, but like I know it. it's by Trigger, and so I assume that all the cinematography and animation is really good. Oh man, the, the animation colors. it was so crazy good. sexy. The the aesthetics the, it, was, it was just amazing. Yeah, like the aesthetic was so nice, and I was really like into it at first because like the aesthetic was nice, the colors were pretty, the soundtrack was awesome. Um, mm. but like the story, I just, just kind of lost the, kind of lost it. I was like, we had to like. I was Don't watching spoil one it. Of my friends. Okay, I won't say anything, but I was really disappointed. I, yeah. I was, I you had to like stop because we didn't know what was happening. There was like so many different, like the plot changed like four or five different times. Like it was at first focusing on one thing, and then it was okay. Now it's this thing, and then it was this thing, and then the way it ended was like okay. I guess. How many episodes? <laughs> Is it twelve? Twenty four? How much? It's twelve. It's yeah, so it's like 12. the pacing is really weird because like it's only twelve episodes too. Uh, um, but it's isn't it in the isn't it in the category of like those weird anime that the plot is like so obscure but it's on purpose. Like I don't I like no. you mentioned that uh, no. it's like trigger like like fully coolly right and like kill a kill like there's plot but it is kind of all over the place right. Yeah. Yeah, but that's so it's why like I the hate them. Thing. They're not. They're not. It doesn't make a good yeah. show if you want to go artsy. You know that. Yeah. I think it's different. I think it's 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 just like you think it's different. You don't like the other animes? Is that what? <laughs> <you're talking about? laughs> no, you know what I mean. Like, like, stupid ass. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just I don't know. No, yeah. I get you. I think I, I I it is Trigger style, and I think historically Trigger has never made a good story anime. To be quite honest with you. Uh, did Trigger make Kill a Kill? Yeah. Yeah. I liked Kill a Kill. Me too. <laughs> I, 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 remember, I watched it for I the story. I liking Kill a Kill. the daughter I, sure the <laughs> I did. The daughter mother scene wasn't the best though. There's a daughter. Do- Don't say anything more. It, Don't say anything more. Oh, uh, when really Augustus <laughs> Glute fell in the river, that made me. Yeah. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> Oompa Loompa's dab on the dying kids. I love that scene, bro. <laughs> Um, no, I, I, speaking about anime, there's this one thing I like really wanted to see if you guys have seen it released today, the SpongeBob anime by Normac. Oh, I haven't watched it yet. I saw it in the recommended. SpongeBob yeah, anime? No, it, it's a guy who does this, like, he changes the anime intros with SpongeBob characters, right? And there's like a plot oh. element be- behind everyone. Yeah, you've definitely seen them before. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, like on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. they do like yeah. Naruto song or like um, Soul Eater the or openings. Fire Force songs. And now yeah. they got their own opening. They got an original song. Really? And, really? And they got this this entire episode is dubbed in Japanese by Japanese voice actors. Oh my and gosh. Like, <laughs> they a- animated, and it's actually enjoyable, dude. Like, I'm not even yeah. kidding you. I had a blast. I was laughing. I was like, no way. This is actually so dope. It actually got me, like, hyped up. <laughs> so was... Wait, is this a full, like, how long is this? Because you did, like, tw- it's two minutes. 14 minutes. 14 14 minutes. minutes. Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Are they, they're gonna like turn it into a full on thing? Yeah, or? it's it's like an, it, it, it's like gonna be a multiple episodes because you can tell where the story is going to go just based on how they set things up in episode one. But it's cool. does, does it take really... place after the intro that he already animated? No, no, no. So it's before the intro. So like, I don't know if you guys have seen the intro, but like Patrick and Sandy are and Crabs and Squidward and SpongeBob, they're all like part of it. It's so good. Gosh. Yeah. I oh, wasn't. I, okay, I, you've, you've convinced me because I saw it pop up on my recommended, and I was like, "Oh, that's that's cool." But all right, it, I'm gonna check it out. I watched it <laughs> earlier with like PJ and a few other people in a in a voice chat, and we were all 
laughing and just like this is good this is good this is actually good and like like you know like <laughs> surprised I'll have, oh, I'll have to watch this i have a question then what's up what's up do they talk while they're fighting because i know this guy's really good at animating right yes and i don't want to pause it while reading no but i like, the, I like uh, to take in the animation no you know how I yeah am. yeah so they talk before the fight Oh, and then uh, they have a good fight scene, and then like after like the antagonist is beat up, they're like, "What the heck?" Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but like, okay, yeah, yeah. good. So, so there's no like you, your eyes aren't distracted by two different things going at once. No, right? they they slow it down when they start talking again, and they speed it Wait. up when they're not talking. Oh my god, Rush! Can you not watch like anime with English subs, like action anime? Well, here's my thing. Rush, I love Rush, animation. Rush, I... Mm -hmm. I love cinematography. Yes. I love how cameras flip around, and like One Punch Man. I had to like it wasn't dubbed for a while, so I had to watch it sub, and I would I would I would just read the text, rewind it ten seconds, and watch the animation go like because I would like I like to focus on that beautiful craftsmanship. Mm, yeah, because I, I, I get, I get that. uh, that's like the biggest negative towards sub is the fact that you're spending more time reading than actually watching the animation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I get because I rewatched One Punch Man, and admittedly this time I wasn't focused on the subs because I knew what was happening. And I was like, what? I didn't even know they did that. You know, like, I actually didn't see it because I was just so focused reading, you know? Yeah. Um, but that, so that's I why it. I like romance I, I, animes because I can just read it. I don't even have to watch Because there's no, like, good animation romance animes. It's like, it's... Yeah, you're, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. That would be really funny, though. That's like a, that's a market right there. You know? <laughs> there's, one and... there's one anime that's just really, like, romance anime. It's called uh, Love is War. It has really good animation. Ooh, oh, no, that... don't. I'm going I'm to get heated if we talk about Love is War. I'm gonna get <laughs> I hate Love is War. I hate Love is War. You hate War, it? I, yeah. I hate it because it turned out to be not what I thought it was going to be. Yep. That's me. Ma Maz, are we on the same page? Like, about <laughs> <It> just, this? Like... <laughs> it ended up being this campy kind of comedy instead of, like, an, like, the concept is solid. I thought the concept was good. And then they just didn't yeah. do anything with it. They just, Aww. they always had this yeah. tertiary character who solved all the issues for them. And I'm like, what? Why are you oh, here? That's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like the I I started watching it because it was like a non-battle battle anime. Like I I watched a YouTube video like who described it like that. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like a it's like these two lovers. Battle of the oh, no, they're not lovers. Yeah, it's Battle of the Minds. These two people are trying to get the other to confess their love to each other and so they oh! play mind games with each other. I... Oh, and yeah, the concept is great. <laughs> The but it takes great. maybe like two or three episodes before it just they forget about the concept and it just becomes like a romance kind of thing. Like it's yep. I don't know. I was really uh, disappointed with it. If you meet love because, first, you're the weak one in a yeah. relationship. The idea of convincing the other person to say I love you first and being too prideful to say it yourself, it's so good. It's oh, like that's cute. Uh, that it's does like, sound good. They just forgot I... about it. They just yeah. Did it? Isn't like Aww. they no, I mean they, they, they still did it, just not well. Yeah, they still did it, but it started getting over the top. Like, they would have this entire elaborate scenario planned to, like, have them trip and fall in love with another girlfriend and to make the other make him jealous. But then the tertiary character would come and break them up somehow. And, like, it's, like, it's just, it became just another comedy and not even a well-done absurdist comedy. If you want a good absurdist comedy, just watch Psyche K or um, Sakamoto Desuga, you know? Um, mm -hmm. those are amazing absurdist animes, but this one just didn't hit it for me at all. There you go. Mm. Don't like. Wouldn't recommend it. Yes, I will watch. Won't watch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. yes, please watch SpongeBob the anime. Please watch the best <laughs> anime, also Veggie Tales, which I recently started. Veggie Tales. That's <laughs> anime. I love that you started watching Veggie Tales. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's the worst thing I've been. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> It's weird because I do love it. I love it, but I hate it. And I love it though. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't get. Oh, I don't get it. You should watch. I mean, if you okay, if Veggie Tales is one of those things that when you rewatch it, you're like, wait, this is like SpongeBob. You know, you're like, you always assume yeah. this was a kid show, but it's better mm -hmm. than that. You guys should watch Bluey. Um, it's Bluey. on Disney Plus. It's a kids show, and oh my god, it is so. Good. And the animation is beautiful. The voice acting. Um, it's like an actual dad with his two actual daughters voice acting. Huh? And it's so cute. It's so oh, cute. what? It's a dog. He looks so adorable. It's Australian, my guy. Oh, these yeah, I think this is a recent one, isn't it? Yeah. Right. 
It's Alyssa. so cute. You guys have to. If you guys want to have a watch party after this, like, please. I love oh, Bluey. I'm down. <laughs> Day. <laughs> oh. I think I've seen some clips oh, from this show. I haven't seen What's anything called? about this. Hilda, that's what it's called. Has anyone Hilda. seen Hilda? Hilda, Hilda's oh, so nice. I like nice. Hilda. I like it's Hilda's so, so good. It was such a good show. I like it a lot. I want more. When are we getting season two? I want yeah. season two. It's so chill. It like it would calm me down. Like I would watch that to like after like a long day. I would just like vibe to it. I can't yeah. explain what it did to me, but it it was like it, it just like I don't know. Hilda yeah. changed me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't explain That's what you it. Said I'm really about bad. about Shockboy and Lava Girl, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, I stand by that statement. Okay, Shockboy and Lava Girl is just—it's messed up. I don't want to get into—I don't want to get into politics this early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Shockboy and Lava Girl. I mean, listen. If I—I—I I, I don't want to hype it up too much, but I want to say that Bluey did offer some really good feel good moments i like i binged it and i did not expect that to happen so like if you guys want to watch it's a good chill time more feel good moments it's yeah. it's just constant there's there's one episode all of them are amazing but there's one episode where um so there's bluey and mm -hmm. her little sister i'm like blanking on her name but they like drew a picture for their dad and they drew like a bunch of pictures and in one episode, they're like, the dad's like, we're going to the dump. Do you want to go with me? And they're like, yes. And they all get in the car and they get in, they get to the dump. And Bluey's like, dad, why are you throwing away my drawings? And he's like, oh. Your <laughs> accents are so good. Your accent's really good. Thanks. I've been what working the heck? on it. And, and then the dad's oh. like, um. And then Bluey's like, you don't like my drawings. And then, it's just, <laughs> and then the dad's like, no, I, I do. And she's like, then why are you throwing them away? And it's just so <laughs> It's so good. And it's, oh, oh. God, it's so good. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I, I love that. I really like that That's a lot. That's cute. <laughs> like, they actually handle real world problems, but like real world problems of like just having kids. It's it's the yeah. cutest thing. Mm. You know what's a real problem, though? Huh? Mm. How good Attack on Titan is, right, Laddie? Oh, yeah. Oh. I agree with that. <laughs> uh oh, yeah. what happened? What happened? She, she finished season two. I predicted uh, something and it happened, and I was like, "Ooh, I knew it." Do you like that I thing happened in the middle? It. Do you remember uh, that the thing name? That the that's what I, that's who I was gonna say. I was just gonna say that one name, and I was gonna spoil season two for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm glad. They bo <laughs> but both Alice and I freaked out. They're like, something off screen was happening. They someone whispered a thing, and they're like, "What? What?" <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we have to go back? We replayed yeah, we that replayed part. Because we're like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> Yeah. They're so nonchalant. Like, so, like, oh, by the way, this and this, and I'm like, what? <laughs> so, so like, so reaction. basically, um, what they're saying, explaining, is the fact that in the manga, so what, there was this big, big, big reveal, one of the probably the biggest reveal in the entire anime and manga. But in the manga, the author always tries to mess with the reader and mess with the anime viewer. So, for example, there was an entire monologue. Um, I don't think it's happened yet for you, Laddie, but it's not a spoiler. Where this mm -hmm. guy talks about how human humans love cruelty and we love to consume cruelty. And there's no reason for us to ask why, but as long as it's for entertainment. And in the manga, he made the guy say it, but talk directly to the camera. So, it's like it was almost as if the guy was talking to the reader. Oh, that scene. Oh. Yeah, and, and, and the thing is, like, you know, as this is happening... And it's talking to the reader because the author was like, yeah, I'm giving this. And a reader might be like, oh, yeah, get, get you know, they're the, the stupid evil people think it's entertainment. But then here you are reading a manga mm -hmm. about people dying by titans, right? Like, yeah. and so the author is like really does stuff like that all the time. And so in this scene, he really wanted to disorient the reader as much as the news of this like plot twist. And so it happens super casually in the manga and anime, like real casually, <laughs> literally like, oh, by the way, I'm the, I'm the evil guy. And then I was like, mm -hmm. and, and, and when it just walks, they, like he says it to like a few people and other people walk away just having the normal conversation. And as the reader and the watcher, you're just like, uh, huh? Wait, wait, what, you, what, what, what just happened? And then they repeat it. They're like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the villain. And then, and then 
all hell breaks loose because of yeah. how like yeah yeah it's fucking great i've so never seen storytelling great. so twisted like that it was so good yeah, yeah. that was good sorry oh, i'm like man. hyping up anime a lot <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> no it's good uh, yeah. i feel like three now i think Did yeah just start? We haven't i don't know yet. I don't know, maybe it's like not, it's not just Attack on Titan, but consuming all of this really good media. So I, I've been watching like Uncut Gems and Parasite and, you know, all these anime. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Even reading books and obviously hearing about your book as well, Alyssa, I oh. have been kind of motivated to start a bigger project as well. Like I want to do a bigger project. Renaissance um, man, what are you doing now? I- <laughs> <laughs> you put on a play? You're going to do a play, aren't you? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, hit me up for uh, a musical. I'd love to. I'd love to write a musical. I'm wow. dead ass. I'm dead ass. That'd be so much fun, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, like I, I don't know. I was talking to, I was talking to a few people, and I was like, I would love to write a book. I would love to do it, but I've got so many weird ideas that I, w- I think, it would be too crazy for me to do now as a first book. I just want to start off with something simple, and then yeah. get crazier with it. Yeah. Uh, I know, Alyssa, you've, or you've got something cooked, cooking, something cooking, you know? Yeah. Cooking. 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 Um, <laughs> is, Wait, it like is, a, a, is it a cooking book? No. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, if, if it was, Mars, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh, I uh-huh. wish it was. <laughs> you just emphasized no, the cooking. So I was like, oh, no. Ellie's making a cooking book? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Can I say I just Thank really God. like how Australians so say their double O's? Cooking. Yeah, cooking. Cookie. I say noob. Cookie. cookie. Wait, how do you say cookie? Cookie. I say it really well. I'm saying cookie. the same thing. I don't understand. Yeah, it was weird. That was weird. I didn't cookie. like that. <laughs> no. We just like sigh. We're like cookie. We're like wood. <laughs> We're dead like, inside. Wood. <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> But Alyssa, I'm curious to hear about your not cooking book. Not <laughs> your cooking not- book. <laughs> yeah, so it's a it's a memoir, and uh, <gasps> it's uh yeah, because basically I did <clears throat> my thing two years ago and was like, I'm gonna make a video about my abusive boyfriend, and that shit popped off, and I got scared, and then I was like, well, and then people were like, where's part two? Where's part two? And I was like, I'm in school. Uh, and then I did part two. And to be honest, like, when I look back, I'm like, man, that is not my best work. And, like, I had recording issues and all this stuff. And I was, I felt I was under a lot of pressure to put stuff out. And then, I mean, just as things happen, when you talk about stuff like this, people are, like, you know, trying to pick it apart. And they're like, wait, Mm -hmm. you said this. And you, you said this. And you got, like, somebody, like, there's, like, a comment thread somewhere where someone's like, um, you said you were 15 here and he's 22. And I was like, uh, it's just, I, there's just so many details to this huge ass story. Cause it spanned over five years of my life yeah. through my developmental yeah, yeah. years. So I'm like, so, and then like, where's part three, where's the panty story? It's just like, you know what? I'm going to release stuff when I feel like it. And now mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like it. So now I have, um, working on a book and I mean, I'm not like, I'm not beholden to any like NDA contract. It's just up to me what I want to share. So I'll share this. I have no idea what I want to call it. I had a few ideas, but um, the current title, the first one I ever came up with too, was Faking It because Mm -hmm. I feel like that has a lot of different connotations. It's like faking it. Oh, like faking you're lying or faking like you're faking uh an orgasm which i mean i i say that not to be like weird and silly and gross but like um you yeah, i got you I... fake stuff mm-hmm. in, a, in a bad relationship you fake stuff when you don't feel good and um yeah and just how like we just how often we like lie to ourselves pretty much and each this is something that like i've stuck with the whole time is that every chapter will be titled something that you are told when you come out about sexual assault or abuse or whatever so and then it's like it's really just like i could have named the chapters anything but by naming them these things the chapters correlate to answering that question without being so direct Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. you know for like why did you leave that's the chapter about 
when I tried to leave and I got death threats and um, mm-hmm. the cops didn't care. And so instead of saying like, like I, cause I could answer, why didn't you leave in like two sentences? Or I could yeah, tell yeah. the story that better. I just, and I don't know, I guess my, my goal with the book is just to reach a wider audience. Um, and maybe change a few minds, whoever's willing to open up the book and listen. But yeah, I'm, uh, it's been up and down working on it because like I'm digging up stuff from the past. And, mm-hmm. But yeah, I think it's worth it. So. Hell yeah. 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 That's, That's like that. super cool, man. Honestly. Thanks. Faking yeah. it. The memoirs of, are you going to attach your YouTube name or is it just going to be Alyssa? It's that, it's like I'll be referencing it in just a way that explains who I am. So it's <laughs> like, um, on the back, it's like, I mean, obviously I have to use my full name, so I got to get ready for that. But like, oh, on the yeah. back of the book in the about the author section, it says like, you know, uh, dude, you know, I do like YouTube. just be careful, I guess. Um, I don't want to bring more attention to it, but certain people have been getting like I, I posted this in way earlier, but oh, people yeah. get incredible amounts of hate for no reason, right? And I, yeah. I, I know, I know you've dealt with your own, yeah. um, <laughs> your mm-hmm. own uh, interesting people. Let's just I say. talk about it in my book. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, they. I'll mess. I'll talk about this later. Actually, you know what? I'll okay. talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. after the book is over. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I just hope that this doesn't in in like, I guess spur them on to be more hateful and more disgusting after it comes out. You know, that's the thing. It's like, it's one of those like I, I write a I write about that in my book. I'm gonna start saying that now. Is uh-huh. <laughs> because you should introduce like, yourself as like author Ellie. <laughs> Ellie yeah. Ellie, I'm, <laughs> I'm a novelist, an and author. It's so yes. cool. I'm a writer. And no, I talk about it in my book. It just like what sucks is like the what is it? It's it's every time you come out, someone has to come out about their story. Mm-hmm. It creates this wonderful chain reaction, but you can't ignore that part of that chain reaction is people going, "Oh, she has to be lying. She has to be lying." And then you look into the story and you're like, "Oh, she's not." But the damage is already done. You already said she is lying. And honestly, like yeah. when I was in the middle of my uh, bad times with that boyfriend, I was, I guess the best word would be brainwashed in, into being an anti-feminist. And I remember like there would be these, you know, because cases pop up on the internet every now and then. It's like, who's the new person who got sexually assaulted? Who they're, you know, Brock Turner, uh, Weinstein, he actually got sent to jail, but still, like, didn't. Not everyone got justice in that case, and still, right. there are people who are like um, uh, Christine Blasey Ford, and it's just like, it's just who's the who's the newest like person to come out about their sexual assault of the week, and it can make mm-hmm. people think that it's a trend. It can make people think that it's it's like doing a random thoughts video on YouTube. It's like, oh, I saw someone else do it. I'm gonna do it now too. But what sucks is that like it's. It really is just that prevalent and you don't realize it until you come out about it and you don't realize like how much misogyny is still in the world until you Mm -hmm. come out about it. I know people are already going to roll their eyes at me saying the word misogyny, but like, wake up. It's freaking true, you know, and it's like, why would they roll their eyes? Oh, because just like, I, I mean, being a woman on the Internet, I mean, people roll their eyes at that they're like oh it's not that bad like i get hate i people who say like oh well if you didn't want hate about it you shouldn't have talked about it and it's like that's literally not how this kind of things works it's like not to compare apples to oranges but like if you can imagine (laughs) it's easy for us to imagine america uh let's say your family member was murdered and you went to the cops and you said hey um my family member was murdered i have all the evidence do you want to come back and look into this and they just tell you you're lying and not only have you just dealt with all this trauma but then you've just been told to your face by the people who are sworn to protect you you're lying sometimes they laugh in your face they make jokes at you tell you to leave and then you're just like man what do i do and you just are like well this is the reason i made my videos i was like nobody cares i can't imagine anyone cares but like on the off chance that someone is on youtube just like me and is trying to find tips on how to get out of an abusive relationship like here we are 
here's my video. But then it blew up because the chain reaction. You don't realize how many people deal with this. So when it comes to my book, I know what's coming. At least now I know what's coming and I know how to prepare. I know still people are going to get creative, but that just proves my point that this is a problem. The fact that so many people want to silence me for being like, here's the police report. Here are the messages. This is true. This happens to me. This happens to everyone. Not everyone, but like everyone who comes forward. It, I just went on a really long tangent, but like. No, no. Go yeah. off, sis. <laughs> that's, my, that's my piece. And it's just the sooner we can normalize people speaking out. And the sooner we can demonize people harassing people for speaking out, everything just becomes so much clearer, you know? So no, I get you. I appreciate the concern because the concern is uh, understood, but it's almost like if something happens to me, it just proves my point. So it's like, I don't know. I don't mean to egg anybody on, but yeah, yeah. if, if, somebody, <laughs> if somebody's saying like, hey, this person attacked me makes you feel insecure... For some fucking reason, like, yikes, that's not my problem, bro. See a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's like, yeah, I gotcha. And I hope that it has the well-intentioned, like, I guess it, I hope it does result in more positive net gain than negative. Because oh, I yeah. know for the fact, like, your video itself, the amount of impact that it has is, like, unparalleled. Like, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you remember, but there was a server that you went into filled with other musical YouTubers. And some of them were literally in tears because, like, of how positive of an impact you'd had, you know? Oh. So it's like, Aww. we in I here, think we in here. That's also just, like, I, why people need to speak up about this because I went into this being, like, oh, I hope this helps, like, somebody. And then it helped, like, a lot of people. And my goal, like, I, I in my head, I was like, oh, maybe this will help, like, ten people because I, I must be the only person going through this. But it helped a bunch. And... If they can come forward about their things, not that they have to make a YouTube video about it, but if they can talk to their mom, you know, you never know if your mom is going to break down crying and go, oh my God, that happened to me when I was 12. You don't know you're going to open up to like your uncle and he's going to be like, wait, that happened to me. Usually with men, it's in church when they're boys and like, mm -hmm. ah, it's just this can of worms that desperately needs to be cracked open. It's more like a, I don't know, not a can of worms, a can of candy. I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not like a, it's a thing that needs to be talked about. And everyone wants to talk about it, but they're just afraid. And we need to fix candy. that environment. <laughs> anyway. So that's that. <laughs> no, go off. I like yeah. the can of candy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thank you. Best for of luck with it. I do hope Thank that people you. kind of. Um, treat it well and uh, yeah. make sure you give it a read when it does come out audience if y'all listening yeah, yeah. For sure. I have no idea and then pay attention when. to Alyssa's next book the cookbook <laughs> after <laughs> Salt and Speech is amazing idea yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only like one can recipe you, is like don't... toast <laughs> can you imagine toast. like um, Maz I know you were talking about like some kind of cookbook and it's like a story time thing what yeah. if I just had an idea what if it was like a collaborative book and every recipe was based on you going and hanging out with someone and being like, what's something that you like to make and just mozifying it and getting all your wizardy <laughs> magical cooking Mazifying. skills into it. Uh, okay, or not. What, what would mozifying it be? Like, what, would, just what that would it entail? Milk bird. Like, I don't just know how to cook <laughs> very well, but I'm like, Maz, my favorite food in the world is mac and cheese, and all I know is this craft stuff, which I know you and or Sultan has a really big opinion on right you guys were like this is not real this is so gross why do people Wait, like this I, I i don't particularly care for mac and cheese sultan is oh. are you the one who cares about a mac i've mac never and cheese. spoken about mac and cheese ever <laughs> I, don't I, don't think, I don't think sultan eats enough food to, to even know what mac and cheese is bro yeah yeah you know he's right <laughs> i looked in the fridge and i was lit i actually thought this two days ago i was like man like i want to do this entire cooking thing but half the things in my fridge sultan will not eat like half i no. absolutely would not now more than half, and that's not yeah. even exaggerating. What, what about a slice you of picky? cheese? Slice of what? Slice of cheese, just a plain old boy. Well, if it's the plastic one, get that out of here. Yeah, that's gross. It's that's just like, yeah. You have it's taste. I hate you. I hate you, and I hate your palate, and I want you to know that. I want you to know. No, that. that's so okay. valid. That is so valid. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, it's so annoying. Awesome. Valid. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's feelings. so annoying when we all go out. 
When we go out to eat, I have to, like, look for, like, the kids' menu, because that's all I can usually (laughs) eat. (laughs) Is that true? (laughs) Yeah, it's it's true. We went to, like, a high-end, like, me and Mars went to a high-end, like, seafood restaurant. Um, Mars, I, I don't know if you even told me it was seafood. I think you did. And I was like, that's fine. I'm an adult. And then we went there and I ordered like chicken tenders, but they tasted yep. like the ocean. Yep. It was just so salty. It was chicken like nuggets. At, of the and inter- a- in the inter- chicken nuggets. Yep. So- and it was like this high end seafood restaurant. They had like, they were like business I don't know where I was going. That, that was it. There's a business. They were like <laughs> business. They were business. No, that's fair. They were just. It was bougie, and I was eating chicken tenders. Wait, you don't like fish? No, I can't stand seafood. <gasps> oh, yeah. Every time you guys went to get sushi, yeah, exactly. Every time you guys went to get get sushi, I was by myself in the food court eating a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you just remind me of a story yeah. that happened to me one time. <laughs> What's up? What's up? My uh, my one of my girlfriends, like I, one of my, all right, I was with a girlfriend at the time, right? We're going to take me to uh, what? Red Lobster, right? It's a seafood restaurant. Oh. We go there for There's a birthday. There's a Beyonce song that explains how you got here. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sitting there. She orders first. She's like, I'll take mozzarella sticks or whatever. And the waitress is like, Why? Why you come to Red Lobster if you're not gonna order seafood? She's like, I'm a vegetarian. And then. And then she's like, all right, son, what do you have? And I just ordered, like, the biggest platter of seafood. Like, oh, this is the reason why you guys came. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> ordered enough seafood for four bucks. <laughs> the thing is, hey, like. Hey, Illy. Yeah. I'm... Do you remember? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, do you remember when we went to Red Lobster, but there was a Robin in front of it? That was so Oh, weird. my God. <laughs> <laughs> There was a what in front of it? We went to Red we... Robin after VidCon last year, and and Sultan was like, "Wait, I thought it was a lobster," and we're like, "What?" <laughs> what are you he was like, he was like, "What is? It's a bird," and we're like, "It's huh?" Yeah, I was like, he was "Why is the like mascot a, a bird?" Red, Red lobster, lobster, yum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you get a picture next to the bird? Yeah, sometimes in the in the day the so. the lobster just turns into a bird, but then oh, yeah. at the night it turns back into wacky. A yeah, that's weird. Damn, that's some Bobby shit. Well, only an America thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, Sultan will always switch from being super like, you know, ah, oh, I don't want to eat anything, and then he this moron will also have a moment where he will be eating breakfast, like literally just eggs on toast. Use a salt shaker and somehow spilled the entirety of the salt shaker on oh his breakfast. Oh my god! Poor guy. And then oh he, my god! And then I told him, "Hey man, I know you don't like food. That's even a slightly bit off. I know you've just spilled the entirety of the salt shaker. Just tell the cook and they'll replace it for you." And this guy looks at me and Sultan just goes, "Mama didn't raise no bitch." And so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you at least oh, try to like pour the salt off of it? Like kind of. T- he, oh, he tried. He oh. tried, yeah, dude. But I because tried. it was like wet egg, it like Rock absorbed salt. into the egg. You know. God. Yeah. Last word for dying. And <laughs> just the word breakfast makes me taste it. Recky. Like, I, uh... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> God. So like I think like Sultan was like I taste the ocean. I taste the oh. ocean now. Yeah. I've I literally, I'm a good person. I don't know what I did. No, well, well, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think, I think, uh, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> what? You so uh, I'll type in it. No, I change. Jesus. Okay. All right. That's a, no one will know what that, no one will know what that was. All right. <laughs> Ha ha. Uh-huh. But all good. I hope uh, you're going okay, though, Sultan, with food at the very least. But I know that uh, you've just going to come out with a new video, hopefully, by the time this comes out. Yeah, so yeah, it'll be out by then. Wait, this is When is this releasing? Next week, I think. Yeah, so this video is coming out in a few hours, and I'm really excited for it because I've been working on it for like four months. Wait, and... you want to upload this in like the next hour? What do you mean? No, no, I'll upload it like tonight or something. But um, uh, you should upload it yeah. in twelve hours. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm planning. I know, Mars. I read, I, I listened to your seminar and I went to upload. I pay attention. <laughs> yeah. We, but, um, no, I'm really excited for it. If, if it, this video doesn't do well, like, I'll get over it, but I'm going to be so sad because it's no, four months like, of work. After watching the video, Sultan, let me tell you, this video is going to blow up. Like, you're going to get a ton of subscribers. Guaranteed. Like, this is. I just hope yeah. people like it. I hope it was worth the, the four month wait. If I'm going to be sure completely blunt and honest with you right now, I don't think it's as funny as our one. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that's biased or not. I just, like, I, I think you and Reagan just have a different dynamic to you and I, you know? Yeah, I I was thinking about this on the toilet before we... Uh, <laughs> why, <laughs> you could have just said I was thinking about it before. No. I didn't, I don't, why did you... No, no, best no, no. I, I wanted... I, 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 I'm a visual you person. Serious thought. Serious yeah, thought yeah, yeah, exactly. All of my... Yeah. I'm a visual Good, learner, so. Toilet. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I, I kind of want to make a video about this. This is kind of like inside, right? I, I've been playing with this idea, and I'm still not sure if I want to do it. About how my personality changes so much depending on who I'm with, to the point where I don't know like what my true personality is, and it's like this whole thing, right? And I was thinking about it because like every time I collab with someone or like plan to collab with someone, right? I feel like I'm a different person and depends with who I'm with, right? So, like, when you mention, like, I think, when, like, when it's me and Mars, it's just, like, banter nonstop, right? Like, it's just, like, back and forth. When I'm with, like, uh, like uh, other people, I don't know. I, I can't explain it, and that's why I haven't, like, dived into this idea yet because I'm still, like, not sure about, like, the logistics and stuff of it. But it, I think it's just really interesting because I know I'm not alone. Like, I know so many people, and it's not, like, putting on, like, a mask, right? It's not like that. Mm -hmm. It's, like, every single version of you is you, but I don't know which one is, like, the real me. So, like, it's, like, it yeah. it it mind messes me. Mm. I gotcha. I forgot what the point of this like. No, no, I was. think I think that's <laughs> fair. Like, that's valid. I feel that a lot. <laughs> of, like yeah. other people, like because I'm still learning how to talk to people, and like some people, you just act a different way. Yeah, yeah. how like, close uh, you are to them. We stuff, all right? did. Yeah. Like we all did that personality test. Like in way we all like I think it was Rush sent a link for like this yeah. like personality yeah, the test. M kind the Myers Briggs. Thing. Yeah, Myers Briggs yeah. test. Yeah. Right, and mm -hmm. I absolutely hate tests like that like i can do math <sighs> tests i can do english tests but when it comes to personality <laughs> tests i can't do them because you know how sometimes they ask the same question but in a different way yep yep yeah. i i put different answers because like i i don't know i'm so bad at personality tests because i don't know the answer i'm like well, really agree actually really disagree like i just it's weird okay I, well, I have a question is it like it's going through your head and you're like oh i should answer like this i should answer like that or are you just like i don't know who i am I don't know what to answer. <laughs> and no, I know, I know it sounds so cliche, but it's it's literally like I don't know who I am. Yeah, you sound like yeah. you're you you need a vibe check, but like a, a, a good vibe check. <laughs> I do, like, I do need a vibe check. Okay, can I can I measure your vibes really quick? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Put your hands out. All right. Two hands, two hands out. Here we go. Let's measure it. <laughs> All right. Mine's, mine's I'm reaching for your size. vibes across the <laughs> great. What is that? The Pacific? What's in between us? The Pacific? I've, I've, the ocean. Uh, the cold uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the oceans. Well, yeah. yeah. Sultan, your vibes are off the charts. You have a lot of <laughs> things. That you're, you have a lot of emotions you're holding inside. It's good ones too. You're holding in good emotions too. And I'm yeah. excited for you to release those good emotions again. That's my vibe yeah. check. I <laughs> find like with this video and what you guys are saying, I think that's a very normal human trait. Um, no matter like, you know, you feel a certain way towards different people and therefore you'll change how you interact with them. But your base personality doesn't really change. Like, Salsa and I, I think yeah. I have a good grasp of your personality. And the way you act with Reagan and the way you act with me is pretty similar. It's just that maybe with me, you and I, we're more like banter towards each other simply because we're both Australian. That's like how we're mm. raised in school. With Reagan, yeah. you're more like agreeable. You play like a power dynamic almost. But the base personality yeah. is the same, right? Like, and the same thing with how I talk to Laddie versus Rush even. The same personality is the same, but I, I might be more jokey, more memey with Rush in a different way than I would with Laddie, right? Simply yeah. because 
I don't know, just different people like different types of jokes. I would make fart jokes with Rush. I may not make them with Laddie. You know? My man. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> Wait, Laddie, are you okay with this? Being cut out of the fart jokes? Yeah. Uh, I'm absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> she is so okay with it. She's like, you know what? I'm so fine. <laughs> you know, Wait, Laddie hates so fart jokes? Wait, Laddie, how does this feel? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you like that one. Yeah. Like I thought Sultan, I thought Sultan was gonna make a cut the cheese joke with the cut, and I was like, oh, this guy's gonna yeah. go two hundred IQ fart joke, but no, cut he didn't. Cut the cheese. No, what? if what it was that? if cut it was clever cheese? like that, I would have laughed. Cut but. the cheese is like a euphemism for farting. Correct. Why? Yeah. That's so weird. That makes no sense. When you cut Why the cheese, it smells. Oh. Because back in the day, they would like ferment cheese. Like cheese would be old, and like people would cut it, and it would be like, "Oh, that's a two hundred year old cheese right there. It smells gross." Ew. At first, I was that's like, weird. "Wow, like Rush is like really into farts," and now I'm like, Man, "He knows the history of fart jokes. Like he's really <laughs> yeah, into I was, this." That's <laughs> yeah, fair. I was gonna be like, "Damn, this guy's really into it, huh?" <laughs> Not like farts into were discovered it, it's just by like, Abraham oh. Lincoln in 1932. <laughs> oh my god. Discovered. <laughs> Bars. It's like the farting equivalent of Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he makes, a, makes a musical about it. This is the worst that. bit. I hate, this bit. I hate this bit. I hate this bit so much. We should abort. 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 <laughs> but, um, I guess like I just I like before we wrap this up, I I want to tie in two things. First of all, just kind of placating what both of you and but Sultan and Alyssa have said that I kind of flags a little bit. Placating, um, daddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, Sultan. <laughs> first of all, I feel like uh, no. Listen, you can call me daddy. I no effect. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Like yeah, you, people. Mommy, people have the Martians like, a lot of people. Have already. <laughs> yeah, the Martian daddy. I've been called mommy as well, so it's whatever, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sultan, like, yeah, I think you don't have, I understand the insecurity when it comes to working so hard on a video and then it flopping. I get that because that is a genuine fear. But two videos ago I, that I released flopped hard and I know the reason why, but it broke me a little bit. I was like, wow, I worked so hard and it didn't get immediate payback. And for you, you know, longer time, harder video, but man, I like the quality shines through dude, like really shines through and um i was watching it with a few of my friends and all of them were like this is like a genuinely good video like this is a good video so mars take yeah. you to dinner first oh my god <laughs> Look at you. Also, don't pretend like as if i haven't skipped dinner before all right come on no <laughs> oh my um, god oh, oh. Like, he, no, yeah, he, skips, he skips right Mom. to the cake you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. cut the cake yeah. People are gonna cut that clip out and be like, uh, "Excuse me, what's happening here?" <laughs> <laughs> um, and I guess Alyssa, like w with you as well, just one thing I wanted to mention before, but I never got the chance to, is that um, I'm not sure whether this is like a purely American thing or just how uh, I guess school and culture is, but I think focusing so much on YouTube and the status that it kind of brings. Um, will only bring detriment, right? Oh, yeah. Because I, oh, yeah. I remember that when we were at VidCon, the, the very first VidCon I went to, 2018, I believe, the first one you went to as well, like with yeah. with Tim, if I recall correctly. Is that... Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, he was able to bring me backstage for a the second. The Gold yeah. Pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, we met there, and I remember you being so nervous to even walk a, an inch away and I was like what's happening what, what's up and you were like there's so many YouTubers here and I don't know how to talk to them because they're YouTubers and I, yeah. I was like well I, that doesn't mean anything like you're gonna understand that it doesn't mean anything at all and yeah. it's funny like years later you're like I, I yeah it doesn't mean <laughs> it doesn't mean anything you know it's just <laughs> a title you know it's that's, just a title yeah. and that's all it is what I'm I'm gonna say something and it's gonna sound Go really it. sh it's gonna sound shady and I mean all the shade no. I say with this Go for it. A lot of people think that a high follower count means you're a good person, and that's not true. <gasps> yeah. Preach it. I don't think that's Preach shady. It, I think that's just... Oh, well, I'm shading no. someone. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not shady. But then you're like, oh, no, I am shading. I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. okay. But that's the thing. It's like uh, if you're, I mean, yeah, because they're, I mean, 
yeah, I don't, I won't go into it. <laughs> there's, uh, there's, I don't know. Like it's, it's really cool to have goals and stuff on YouTube and it's like, oh yeah, I hit a million subscribers and like, oh yeah, I hit a hundred K. And then like, mm -hmm. I don't know, there was a time where I was like lamenting to someone and I was like, man, I just, I just hit a million and like, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, ah, oh, this is so much. I just feel really stressed. And then they turned to me and they were like, just wait till you hit 2 million. And I was like, <clears throat> oh, okay. <clears throat> like, even <throat> if you think you've made it, I don't know. It's just like, don't, I, I, just be careful. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I it's agree. Like, obviously, there are YouTubers who are not nice people. Jake Paul. So, there you, you know. <laughs> no, I get you. Yeah. It's like, it's fair. All, it, in the end, you know, YouTube starts off as like, oh, I want to be big. I want to be recognized. But when you get into it, it's just yeah it's not it's not that man it's really not it's just like a job it really is it, it is it's, it's uh, a job but there's no hr and that's what no. sucks <laughs> no. and, yeah it's very yeah so yeah. i don't know or just know that like if you go into it and things do get successful and things do pop up like that's awesome but that's kind of when like not to be paranoid but like just to kind of like take stock and be like oh this person has never talked to me before why do they want to be my friend now mm -hmm. yeah. and if the answer mm -hmm. is because you have a million subscribers then like run away get lost yeah or yeah. another thing too is like with doing youtube i found out like when when strangers approach me and they really want me to be on board with something and i feel like almost guilty that i don't do it I don't know if you guys ever feel that way that someone's like, oh, hey, we're doing this really big thing or like, hey, I'd really love for you to like do lines for me. And you want to say no, just because you're just truly not interested because mm -hmm. you yeah. as a person, you, not you as a YouTuber, not you as a business, you as a person are just like, I don't want to. But yeah, there's like I feel like a pull to like just be nice and just do whatever and get and just get along with everyone. But mm -hmm. I don't know. At the end of the day, we're not businesses. We're just people. So yeah. It's a tough landscape. I didn't know it would be this tough. And it's just such, like, first world problems to be like, it's hard being a YouTuber. Like, <laughs> but it is, socially. Yeah. Yeah. I think in the end, we're just going to try our very best to, you know, um, try our best to just be good people <laughs> at the end of the day, you people know. boys. Um, <laughs> like, ev everyone's got their own principles and stuff like that. And as long as you grow and stick with it and don't let the fame get to your head, I think yeah. that's, like, my biggest thing. My principle for me is, because uh, I think it's, like an, uh, I don't know about you, Sultan, but it's, like, an Australian thing where we don't, if, if anybody got Eagles. a big head when they were in high school, you got, you yeah. got <laughs> shat on, dude, <gasps> you know? Yeah. Having yeah. a big head is what uh, makes you American out here. So like you know, believe in yourself, <laughs> you could do anything, you're the best. Kind of no vibe checks no, I mean, in sight. Work yeah. shit on people in Australia. What's wrong with you people? No, as as in like it's it's Come like on, a tall man. poppy it's something oh. it's got a name. It's called tall poppy syndrome, in which when somebody <gasps> gets too tall poppy too big Yeah, tall poppy. <laughs> oh um, you know what they say in the South, they say you're getting too big for your britches. Yeah, it's kind of like that where it's like when yeah, you're getting too you get tall, they kind of want to cut you down, you know. The the big the tallest yeah. nail gets hammered down the hardest. Like whenever yeah. when I told uh you know when I got like 500k on YouTube, I was telling like Simon, I think Sultan, you know Simon, I was telling Simon about it, and he's like, oh, Lovely. Mr. Big Shot YouTuber over here, oh yeah, guys bow down, you know, and I was like, yeah. all right, I get, you know, That's like, like that exclusively. Kinda how our friends will like if we see our friends in like a social setting they'll be like oh it's the amazing everyone oh. let me get a signature like they <laughs> they really like I, maybe it is australians we just we really like uh value like modesty and we oh. don't like egos and that's like one of my biggest pet peeves i cannot yep. stand people who put themselves on a pedestal no. like yep. mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Especially, like, when they... No, that's that's rude. What I'm not going to say it. No, no, say it, like, say it. What do you mean? <laughs> like, especially when they don't have talent and they're famous. I cannot stand that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking... Oh, my God, I'm not talking about animators. I I'm, I want to make that clear. I'm talking about, like, yeah. YouTubers and oh, maybe some TikTokers. Yes. But yeah. when they don't have talent and <laughs> they're famous <laughs> and they get a big head, it, it, it drives me insane that people I, can okay. think... I feel you. Go off, sorry, yeah. 
No, that was it. I just, I don't like when people think that there's platforms and people are standing on top of each other. Like, I hate that. I, okay, yeah, no, like, I'm I've, a, yeah. I've been recently, like, I don't know if I just finally got that radar that, like, other people have told me about, that you, like, get a radar once you're, like, doing YouTube long enough. But lately when I'm, like, watching, like, there's, like, uh, some people's, I won't even say the fandom or whatever, but, like, I'll be watching videos and I'm, like, why does this feel not like them? It feels like they're putting on a front. And maybe other like people... Like disingenuous? It, yeah, but it's like, it's mm-hmm. nothing that I can point out without sounding mean. But it's just me saying like, see, the only thing, the only way they speak is in memes. The only way they can do a joke is if they're referencing somebody else. The only way they can like do a thumbnail is if they're directly copying someone else. And they change their thumbnails to fit, not like the current trend, but to fit mm-hmm. like other another channel like there are just such blatant copycats out there but you don't realize it because you're like oh it's just that's just a youtube thumbnail it's youtube it's it's youtube it's not that deep but like mm-hmm. oh man just i don't know there was this one channel i was watching and just her editing um just everything she was doing just looked like sophia nygaard and i was like look i get if you're like inspired but uh, and then she had a lot of followers and stuff, but like, oh man, I just was like, you're just a copycat, okay? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's hard for me to like really explain it without sounding no, I, like I, without that naming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's all good. I feel like yeah, that. yeah. You can like, like tell really? sometimes, like, but only as a yeah. creator that you're like you're like creators I, don't say that. People I stopped watching some YouTubers yes! for that like reason. I'm just like, oh, oh. Me too. As in, like, what? As in, they just they copy people, or yeah, or just like, like they... any time they start a video, they're like, oh, you know, I did this because I saw somebody else do this, and it's like, okay, it's again one thing if it's a trend, like oh, a Christmas video, but they're like, I'm doing this same exact video because someone else did it, which is like, oh, man, I just sound like such a such an asshole right now. It's so hard. <laughs> no, to No, you're talking hard. about people who do, like <laughs> don't add anything to it, right? Yeah, literally, yeah. they just yeah. they're they're yeah, like, yeah. which I get it. They're like, oh, this looks like fun. I'll do it, but like, oh, yeah, it's it's hard to and say. To... It's it's such a creator eye, third yeah. eye thing. No, I get you. And it's I think if, if if you no no, it is fair because I think this is something that you, we get insight into because we're creators, and so for people who are trying to get into YouTube. Or have been in YouTube for a while, or even people who are just not no intention of becoming creator, I would recommend watching this video by Captain Disillusion. He did oh. a TED talk about uh, creators and how to make a good quote unquote video. And the number one thing that he says, the most important aspect of making a video, is can you add a unique aspect or voice yeah. to this video? Right? You shouldn't make a video simply because it's popular. Can you? add a perspective to it that's uniquely yours or that's unique in like in general so that's yeah. why i if i had just made a video criticizing my story animated yeah. i wasn't keen on that i thought that was boring I, like because jarvis has already done that i thought i wouldn't yeah. be able to add, add insight but then i was like what if i add my expertise or my years in story time animation exactly people want to hear parallel. about that yes yeah, yeah. right mm. so yeah, yeah. that's like, i do want to bring a, up Sorry, go, go on. on. Go on. No, no, go for I do want to bring up, though, that, like, a lot of people who start out YouTube, myself included, and a lot of my friends, when we start YouTube, that is kind of what we do. Yes, yeah, same. Purely yeah, same. because you kind of learn. Yeah, you kind of learn as you go. Like, you learn, one, that you don't enjoy when you're just, like, doing what yeah. is already out there. And, two, it's it's just more fun when you put yourself in, like, I, I, I'm really bad when it comes to, like, explaining it. Mars, you'd be better at it. But, like, yeah, it's like you learn on the job and then you realize that uh, most YouTube channels that are personality-driven are just that. They're personality-driven, and that's what makes people want to come back and watch more. And, and like, mm-hmm. I, yeah. It's, it's, like, I had a really great moment recently. So Ice Cream Sandwich made a little short clip on Twitter where it's like everything is cake and it's a guy getting cut with a knife. But then it's like two frames of him bleeding out suddenly like because <laughs> it's not a cake. Oh, oh everything is a cake. Oh, no. And then you cut him with a knife and he's like, yeah, this is a cake. Because <laughs> it's just not bleeding. <laughs> and then the, the most humbling, I guess, worrying thing that I saw in the comment was uh, two or three people saying, oh, that that's like Mars's style. That's, that's what, what Mars would do. And I was like, 
Ah! No, no, I, I'm fine with that. I was like, that's sudden, quick comedy because Ice Cream Sandwich is one of my inspirations for that. And so to oh, yeah. now be attributed to his joke as my style, I was like, oh! Oh, oh what the heck? like, oh. oh, you have a style yeah, yeah. and you didn't even you know it. I have a style, I know. Yeah. yeah. You're funny, Yeah. Uh, no. No. Funny yeah. looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he's not funny, but he's pretty amazing. <laughs> I hate my life. I hate everything. <laughs> what are you, cat from Salmon Cat? <laughs> so it's just us laughing like cat. Yeah, that's the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Somebody meowed and I hate them. That was me. That was me. Yeah, I hate <laughs> you. Right before- oh. That was me. Hate me. Can me, I say, me. I forgot to tell you guys this, but in my opinion, the most. Uh, cringe inducing thing and I know it's cringe to talk about things that I think are cringe but like <laughs> the most cringe inducing thing is and you guys are gonna do it the fucking mia mia uh, wait I yeah. definitely As wanna in, do it I definitely oh, wanna do it the the you, you have my wait, permission I, like, go ahead wait, Ellie, I did no, no, it sorry, one time I guess I'm like confused as in are you cr- are you I find, wait I do you find a cr- I find I'm, like, the confused. following sorry. I find the following cringe <clears throat> right yeah. yeah, I hate myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, great. I baited her into doing that. Clip that, and uh, I want to. Oh, no. <laughs> That's fair, but make sure to we make sure to include like I find the following cringe. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, why? Why do you find it cringy? I don't know. It just hurts. It just hurts me. <laughs> it, it's like more of a physical thing. Like I can't. It's almost like like when you look at pictures of like maggots or something. You're like ah. Oh, oh, what the heck? <laughs> like, that's how I feel when Nya comes But, like, comes it's up. funny because I whenever I... Maggots. Whenever I... Yeah, I love maggots. Um, <laughs> whenever I talk to you, Alyssa, I always go, Hey, Alyssa. You know, I always go hello. like... Hey, how are we, Alyssa? You know, hello, I go like that. Hello. I like Is hello. that not the same oh, This is Alyssa telling you <laughs> it's enough. <something>. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's it's like not. Sub, yeah. She's, like, subtweeting me in the podcast. Yeah, so I thought it crazy. <laughs> no, I just... I, I, I think hello is funny. Because it's Hello. like, because yeah. I think of, I don't know, like, I, I think of, like, like the ooh. roots, the roots of the joke is, like, I think of, um, hello, <laughs> Mr. Obama, and then, like, the, yeah. the parish, and I think about how hello has been, like, 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 the notices your bulge, and then, like, oh, whoa, and then, like, <laughs> <laughs> like just how it's, it's oh, it's my God, meme. but then, like, nya is not a meme, nya is just basic like you look up cringe anime convention Compilation. yeah yeah and like yeah. the girl is cosplaying will just go up to people and go Nya! and i feel so bad Nya! because like they're allowed to have fun there but then when it's broadcasted mm-hmm. to the internet and i'm sitting in my room and i witness someone going <laughs> yeah i'm like oh well that's where the cringe comes in because it's at uncanny valley i should not be hearing this right now but if i was at an anime convention i'd be like yeah go off but <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm doing next anime convention yeah. Oh yeah. Next convention. Oh god, when's that gonna be? Twenty twenty five. Yo. Twenty twenty five. Oh good. I think wait, wait, wait. uh oh. One more thing, one more thing. I know it's a small it's a small thing. What's up? Me, Landy, and Alyssa are the same personality type, even though it's the rarest type of them all. How oh is that INFJ? Yeah, I F N J, yeah. And then Mod and <laughs> There's a lot of INFJs in the community, it's I think. Because there's a lot of uh, people Introvert. in the world. No, no, it's, 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 it's on the site, the rarest That's one so of them true, all. Laddie. Yeah, but in the community, uh, <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Laddie really is spitting facts, bro. There really be a lot of Dude. people in the world. There, yeah, there'd be a lot of Gotta inside open weird your brain. people. <laughs> but like, yeah. all these sick facts at you. Yeah. Like, I think I think if you break down the um, like MBTI, it does make sense why the animators are specifically probably more likely INFJ. to be INFJ because uh, obvious obvious thing is for extrovert introvert where it's just like hey um you're most likely going to be introverted not extroverted because it's animation right yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um and then it's going to be more intuition because intuition is like you you kind of do things based on impulse which a lot of creative people are more impulsive more kind of like that yeah. um feeling versus um, what, thought, a lot thinking. Of feelings, man. Yeah, again, you guys are creative people, more emotional people. You're not gonna think. Uh, I, I don't say you guys are gonna think, but you're more. Uh, uh, you're more. No, uh, you're, you're more. <laughs> you say sense, it to their face. I know. Like, yeah, you guys don't think. You got no Agree. brains, bro. Small brain. Oh, colors. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but you would, you're more likely to feel emotions instead of think about like logically, yeah. oh, what do I do now? Because you're creative, right? Wait, hold on. Um, are you telling me there are people who like don't have to feel this way? And I no, could have so been one of them. <laughs> F and T, the biggest difference between thinking and feeling is feeling yeah. is very much a natural like, oh, what do I feel? What do they feel? And you think on emotion oh, like yeah. that. Thinking is more logical where it's like, oh, w if I was to say this, what would happen? If I were to say this, would this impede oh. upon what I'm doing? They think about it very logically like that. And I I, mm. I admit I have done that in the past. <laughs> the strats. Um, yeah. yeah, it's strats, uh, right? Strats. And then J, yeah. J and P, I don't find much difference, so I don't really mind. Yeah. But yeah, INFJ most likely for creative, introverted people, which is animation, right? I'm ENFJ. The, like, I'm just like you guys. Uh, which one? Like INFJ T. That's what. Oh, I am? Same. no one, yeah. no one, no one cares about that. Don't okay, worry. About I don't that. even know like what that Pluto. means. So I'm yeah. just like, huh? No, no. People care about the <laughs> but first anyway, one. Anyway, but you're ENFJ. Yeah, yeah I'm ENFJ. Yeah. I, I'm I'm cool. exactly like y'all except extrovert. <laughs> <laughs> My man. I'm scared. I have to retake it because I haven't taken it this year, and I'm like, maybe I've. Can't. You take it yearly. Yeah, cause like you know, people change. <laughs> people do change. You're right. <laughs> so far it's been the same though so i don't know yeah uh, okay i think we might wrap this up because yeah. we've been on for a while it's long long as it's podcast a long boy, yet but it's, it's, long it's, it's, it's good, been juicy. also a fun boy so mm -hmm. again i just want to say thank you so much Alyssa and sultan for coming on yeah. this podcast y'all being guys. amazing guests because y'all are friends you know Woo. well yeah well, <laughs> oh, thanks, well. <laughs> all right Oh, that, that now. Yeah, ooh, ooh, that's what you sound like right now. Ooh, that's what yeah. you sound like. Ooh, look at me, my name is a monster. Uh, look at me, there's a lot of people in the world. That's what you sound like, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was Laddie, that wasn't me. Yeah, you know what, you know what Laddie? Yeah, screw you too. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> I just roast I just started roasting everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, laters. Uh, Bye. Bye. Yeah. And logging off now. <laughs>